Hey everybody, welcome back to My Jewelry Bench. This is Pete and we're going to cover our topic I've covered in the past, how to resize a stretchy band, most commonly called a Spidel band. Um, these stretchy bands are made by several manufacturers and uh, even some cheap ones in China, of course. I'm going to show you today how to easily size one of these down to fit and you can use this for any number of links, anywhere from 1 to 20. I've taken that many out of uh, some of these bands before. So let's cover some of the tools that we'll be using. You don't have to use these exact tools. Any tool that you have that's similar will work for you to do this simple task. Okay, so the tools that I'll be using, first of all, this parallel type plier. These are actually ring pliers that are used for prong setting or ring holding. And I use those because they're highly polished and they allow me to use them to clamp down on the sides of the Spidel spring band. A straight blade screwdriver is used to actually pry open the, the sides of the band so that you can remove the springs and open up the band. Sometimes having a pair of tweezers on hand is great because it'll allow you a little more flexibility in getting the springs back into the band top or bottom and tweezers can be your friend. And as you'll see in the video, uh, needle nose pliers come in handy to allow you to open up a little bit more of uh, the sides of the band so that you can get the springs in and out. This is a jeweler's bezel pusher. Now I won't be using the bezel pusher end. I'll be using the wooden stick end, the uh, bottom of the handle actually, to help me close up the sides of the band and tighten them up. And you'll see that also in the video. So let's get started. We have one of these Spidel type bands. This one happens to be made by Hadley Roma. So several manufacturers make these types of bands and how they work is they use little bits of metal or uh, U-shaped pins to allow them to stretch a little bit. And I want to show you today how to take some links out, um, which is very common because you typically get these bands and they're oversized. This particular customer wants to have two links removed from this band. So I want to show you the quick and easy way to do this uh, on your own at home or if you're a jeweler and you've never done these before, I'll explain to you how to get this done very, very simply. Okay, so the trick to getting these sized is very simple. First, we, want, we know we want two links removed. So to remove two links, this one's already had some links removed to it. Just look at either side. You can tell the telltale signs where this has been open before. However, if you've got a new band and you want to remove you know, any, any number of links, in this case, we're going to do two. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you are going to pry up this one little tab, just like so. I'm going to pry that up ever so gently. And I'm doing, I'm doing this on both sides just to make sure it's even. Now there's the one opening because we want to take two links out. We're going to move over two links. So one, two, and we're going to remove this particular one also, or we're going to open that up. So I will jab the screwdriver in there, careful not to stab myself in the fingers. And I'm going to gently pry this up. And you can see I'm kind of wedging it underneath that cap. You don't want to bend it too far. Um, 80 to 90 degrees is really good. Okay, so that's done. We've got both of these done on this side. Now let's take a look at this from this perspective. I'm gonna flip it over so we have a better visual. And what I wanna do is I wanna open the opposite side. For instance, we did it on the top side of the band here. We opened up these two end caps. What we wanna do now is work on the bottom side, but we wanna work on the adjacent links. So for instance, if we look at this top piece and we follow it over here, you can see this is the piece that we opened on the opposite side. What we want to do is we want to go over to the right or left, either way, but you're going to have to be consistent. And I'm going to open up this particular piece on the bottom link of the band, and I'm just going to bend that down the same way we did the upper link. And if it does that, that's okay, but we really want to open that up so that it is flat. And sometimes this is why I use pliers. Okay, so I've got that opened up. You can see there it's bent up. And now we're gonna go two links over. So again, we're gonna follow this particular one all the way across. And because we went to the right on the other one, we're gonna to go to the right on this one. So two links over would be this particular bottom link. I'm gonna put my screwdriver in there. I'm gonna kind of wedge it in there and then bend these tabs over. 
And okay, so now I've got that done. And what I can do now is just slide this out, just like so. And here's the two links that we wanted to remove. That leaves us in a good position because now, if you look closely, we have the pin here on the top, and we have the pin here on the opposite side on the bottom. And if we're very careful, we can take our stretchy band, just like so, and kind of squeeze it in and get it situated so that it goes underneath the spring. And I'm going to bend this over so that you can see better. And we'll do the same with the top here. So I'm going to flatten that out. And now I want to get this particular pin, which is right here. I'll zoom in on that. And I want to get it into the same space that we see here where the opposite one is. We want to wedge it in under that side. At the same time, we're going to be doing the same thing on the opposite side, but with the top link. So this particular pin is going to fall into that space there. And if we're really good and we get that situated correctly, I should be able to get this to fit just like so. And it didn't quite go in all the way, so we're going to just move that over again and just try again. Until we get the pins in the right spots. It takes a little getting used to if you've never done this before. And if you've never done it before, don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. And there we go. We've got both pins in the slots. Just like so and just like so. And now I can take my parallel players and I can bend this over very carefully. Just bend that down and I'm going to bend this one up. I'm going to grab that just like that and I'm going to bend it. And again, if you don't have a a pair of par parallel players you can use a stick and just kind of put it on something firm I'm going to use this metal plate here and I'm going to use my wooden handle and just kind of bend it over very carefully so as not to do any damage Okay, so it's not perfect yet, but that's okay. We've got it so it's holding properly. And now let's do this same thing on the opposite top side. So I've got my band here, got my wooden stick, and I'm just going to bend it over like so. And then the reason why I like using the parallel pliers here is because I can come along. and squeeze it firmly with the parallel players, both the top and the bottom side, just like so. And there we go, our stretchy band has two links removed from it. We can give these back to the customer in case they ever want it resized. And it still stretches perfectly, looks good from the opposite side, and it's ready to go back to the customer. Hey everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure that uh, if, you, if they're reasonable questions, I will definitely answer them. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing and don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel. I cover things like jewelry, jewelry design, watch repair, watch reviews, things like that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.